Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Capital Improvement Plan Committee meeting. Uh, opening the meeting for Thursday, October 25th at 5.30 p.m. The first thing we'll do is uh, review the minutes from our last meeting and we'll vote on those. Yeah, so, so anyway, John, I don't, I don't know that, that what I copied from Bruce's type, from Bruce's is correct. So okay. we, we have to, hey. we kind of have to read it to uh, okay. see if there's any. Do you have the marked up version? It, it shows what exists and what we're changing. I have that if you need copies of that. So I you, it will show I you exactly. I, don't, I, don't, I, do. I have it somewhere. Sure. I have it maybe. I'm I sorry. Need it. I have it maybe in the car or in the I have no, it. I have it, but I don't think we need it. Right. Well, that'll show you that it'll highlight what exists versus what you're proposing to change. It'd be easier to work from that. We've already proposed it. We vote. Well, we voted. It. We voted. Here's yeah. well, what we think we, it should we, be. We, we're just making sure it's correct. Right. We're just well, we that's voted why I'm asking, because you just were asking that. And if that would be an easy document to use to, to, uh, to see if it you, is. You had copies of that? Yeah, I had it initially on the warrant in its entirety. So mm -hmm. I can... I can um, well, we haven't seen the warrant, so... Well, it's not in that warrant as it is now. It's just a flat, you know, change. But I, uh, I have it with the strike through so you can look at it and see what exists now and what you're proposing to, the changes are, would be. Have you got that, Steve? What's that? Actually, with Councilor Last Jenner. Election, what, what, what the no. approved, yes, but not. Let me, yeah, uh, let me print from, out some. Because you so, did it. For everybody. So, so after, after the last meeting, we had kind of a marked up version of what we had and we right. we had we had crossed off some things or whatever and then Bruce St. Peter's typed it up and all I did was copy that oh, okay. into the minutes. I, right. I typed it up because Jeff was having trouble with his computer at that point in time. That's correct. And I sent it to Jeff. Who sent it sure to me? It we, and we sent it out to all the committee members. It was reviewed. If there's any questions or comments, because I did up an email, any questions or comments had to go to Wendy. And the first comment that I heard was last night when he came here for another meeting. Right. And the first communication I've had. But, with right. but that was from Brenda, not from right. anybody on this committee. No, right. no, no. It evidently just got sent to attorney oh. yesterday. Oh. Right. After how long ago? Right. Well, that's what, that's what I want to explain to everybody. So uh, after months of reviewing how this came about, the, uh, the bylaw for the Capital Improvement Committee came into question and it was reviewed. And the, the bylaw went to a committee that was formed specifically to review bylaws. That committee reviewed by law, felt that there was uh, some conf conflicting language in the existing capital improvement plan. So that committee uh, worked on the language to try to clarify it. And they also asked for some input from the capital improvement committee and the town administrator and the select board. And between those groups, we worked together to try to hammer out uh, and clean up the capital improvement language so we could function as a group and move forward. As of our last meeting, September 3rd, we had come up with language for the bylaw between the uh, review committee that was created. Select board sat there with us, uh, a representative in, in our committee, and we worked on the language and we established new bylaw language, which the Capital Improvement Committee 
voted to recommend and move forward. And with the understanding that there is any comments, questions, we could review. That was done on September 3rd. September 5th. Uh, September 5th, excuse me. And here we are now, today, and we're finding out that there are some questions about it, which I have no problem. I just, once again, you know, it's the 11th and a half hour, and, you know, this language is supposedly to go forward to the, through the select board, town administrator, and obviously uh, legal counsel, and then brought before the voters at the special town meeting for approval. And we need to have that done so this committee can move forward and be effective on uh, the capital improvement plan and the capital requests that are coming down the road very shortly. So but, but we, were, we were kinda, I guess we were all a little surprised, and I'm not pointing fingers or anything, a little surprised at, at the timing of this, but we need to review it and we need to have everybody get on board and move forward with this. So we as a committee can be effective. I don't want, I guess what I'm a little concerned about is the credibility. When a committee loses its credibility, people have a tendency to stop listening. And this is something that's been worked on for a long period of time. A lot of hours by a lot of people have been spent on this. So we, as a committee, and at times, to be honest with you, we even question, this committee even question, is it within our uh, review as a committee, or should it be the select board's position in the town administrator's position to create the bylaw language. So, once again, I don't want to point fingers, but at the same time, the language that we had approved September 5th, I guess is now, uh, people would like to add or review it, which is fine, but I think we need to do this and, and move it forward, and I just want everybody to understand that this committee the review committee as far as the uh, bylaw review committee and everybody has put a lot of effort into this and we want to make sure that we get this right. So with that being said, Wendy, I know you, you had some questions and, and Barbara well, maybe or some suggestions. Dave, uh, uh, excuse yeah. me, Jack. <laughs> um, I agree with everything that you've just said. Mm. Except that what we're doing now is we're just reviewing our minutes. <laughs> right. Well, we can. We right. we, we just can vote on we're just we just want to. Yeah. I think we just need to vote on our minutes. Is this okay. actually is this what we did at our last meeting? And then, then we can get into a, a further discussion of right. what's what's wrong with the the if the there bylaws, is anything wrong with it. the proposed bylaws that we voted on. Right. So. So, Do you want to make a motion on the minutes, as is? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of September 5th. I'll second. I have any, discussion. Yeah, any further discussion? So, uh, the, the bylaw recommended change that are in the minutes, for clarification, uh, says there should be not more than any one member from any body appointed to the CIPC. Um, at the end of... Your, the minutes the we minutes. amended it. We amended it to take that out. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it should be in here. It should be in here. No, I well, don't think it should be. I think it should be struck. <coughs> well, except, well, that, that's what except we did. that we voted that. No, but then yeah, we turned then we around to and took it out. We voted it and then we and then but then that's we in the amended, minutes as well that we, we took amended it out. our vote. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I just think it's going to cause confusion leaving it in there. I don't, I don't see that. The, as the, the following right. is the approved text. Well, it, right. it was the approved text initially, but yeah, not they, at the end. Right. Which they, is clarified at the end of the minute. I understand. Right. Yeah. But okay. I just don't want 
people to get this and say, oh, here's what they voted. Yeah. And because somebody will... Well, they have to go through the entire minutes. If they go through the entire minutes, I okay. John, I, I, I feel comfortable it, enough. It sounds like we're, we're, like right. we're going to amend it again. Right. I, no, I'm only talking I, about what's in the minutes. No, I understand, but it sounds yeah. like we're... I think we're good. John, I really do. All right. Yeah. Do you need, I, mean, I don't. Need but, to clean okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we, my feeling. Yeah. All right. Any <laughs> duly, duly noted. Right. <laughs> Which you can vote. Right. Any other or uh, any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Approving the minutes. Aye. All opposed? Opposed. John. Subject abstain. to abstain. Needs a correction. That's okay. Okay, Wendy, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to turn it over to you because obviously, as I said, this kind of caught us off guard. Yeah, you know, we, we approved the, we approved the bylaw language for recommendation. And, you know, you had mentioned that there was some uh, mm -hmm. concerns or questions or suggestions. And so, I guess turn it over because I don't know what those are. Okay. So I turn it over Do you to. Want to. Start with yours. Is that all right? Or um, I'd be happy to. I'd like to speak to what Jack said um, just now, and I appreciate what you said because it gave some background of kind of where you guys are coming, you know, at this. Right. And I think um, I think um, Bruce um, and I were on the bylaw committee. And we had uh, kind of gone through, or tried to go through, or started to go through bylaws and kind of trying to pick out things to, um, not to, to fix, but maybe just to be consistent. You know, we've done bylaws over years and years and years, and then they're kind of mm -hmm. compiled, and then they get a little distorted or not um, consistent throughout. So as we worked on them, uh, we did talk about the CIPC um, committee, and we thought, um, geez, you know, as we're doing this, we should consult with them, you know, what's working for them, what's not working for them, as we did with other committees. Sure. You know, give us some feedback. Uh, we can see what's a little confusing interpretation-wise maybe, but you guys deal with it, and so we were looking for some feedback. Um, so as, as we went along not too much further, um, we, we kind of changed our path on the bylaw committee just because it became more than we were <laughs> able to purse through, if you will. And uh, we, we got a quote from our general code to do a recodification. So they, they actually take their editors and they go through for, for both legal and editing and language. And, um, you know, for, for instance, um, I think in, in your bylaw you say you're going to appoint someone from the community. Well, another committee appoints a resident, and another committee appoints a voter. And so we're just looking for, that's just an example, but just some simple you know, inconsistencies. Consistency throughout as far exactly. as language goes. Yeah. So we have embarked on this project for them to um, go through um, professionally by editors and by legal our whole I'm sorry, code. Barbara, who is it that did? General code, they're the, the ones that do oh, our general code. Yes, yeah. do our book. Yeah. So, um, in light of that, um, the bylaw committee actually has recessed and we've stopped. We figured let them do the heavy work, the cleanup work, and then we'll maybe go back and see personally what their um, findings were, recommendations, and then go from there. Um, so I, I, I didn't know that we were really still redoing bylaws, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I know there was a couple things, um, you know, with the postings that were kind of disabling for us, and, and I can see something that's um, difficult to work through in the next couple years while general code finishes. But I guess I was, I just didn't realize that we're still working on rewording, internally rewording a bylaw. So just respectfully, um, I appreciate that you guys have gone through it. We went through it for some time, too, and we were just like, you know what, we're like chasing our tails because mm -hmm. we're not getting anywhere because <laughs> it was a big project, you know. Right. So, um, so I guess I just wanted to say that's the background that I'm coming at it. So I didn't realize it was going to be a bylaw kind of redoing their own bylaw on the thing. 
I, I thought we would speak to particular mean, things like maybe the newspaper advertisement. What's that? You mean a committee redoing their own bylaw? No, that's no I didn't know that, okay. that people were still pursuing oh. doing, um, internally Major doing, yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Um, well, remember, we didn't seek this out. This no, was, no, this as was I said, yeah. This to this committee, so We were I working on it, and we didn't that. want to proceed without <laughs> right. getting um, people, mm -hmm. each committee's feedback, for sure. Right. And yeah. as I said, there were some things that, um, were requested to be changed in the in the CIPC um, committee's section. Right. So, <laughs> so but I think. Well, um, well, can I just ask a question? Yeah. Who, who, or what committee or body mm -hmm. is responsible for creating the bylaws for the town of Deerfield? Because mm -hmm. it did seem kind of weird to me that we were right. we were writing well, our own. Yes. I wouldn't Our even expect bylaws. that you would. I would expect you'd give some feedback to say right. this isn't working or we, we need additional I mean, support in this area or this wording is right. tough or, yeah. So I but who, who's recall that meeting several months ago and Bruce and I were sitting here, I think it was in June, um, and uh, we, we were, had that capital expenditure that came up post town meeting. And we, we went around and around about how to deal with that. And that's what drove this. Mm -hmm. I know there was talk before that about changing other things, right. but that was the main issue. And that was what drove having, you know, next chance we got at a special town meeting, we knew we would have a fall meeting, that we would address that issue that was really getting in the way, which was not really not having a mechanism if something came up during the year for dealing with something that would fall under your um, Language. Review, right? right yeah. um, so that was it, and then it just got bigger and bigger, and wholesale changes, and going back on something you changed at 2017, and you know, I worked on it, you worked on it, we worked on it, you two worked, everybody worked on it, mm -hmm. and it's it's much oh. bigger ch changes than we had originally anticipated, yeah. because we will be doing that with as we go forward. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Well, in all, in all fairness, um, you know, I'll have to, I'll take the brunt of the whole uh, situation. Uh, we did agree that the code publishers, uh, you know, we'd wait for them. But this was, and I thought I had expressed it to Barb, and I apologize if I didn't, mm -hmm. but uh, I know I had the conversation with Wendy that two uh, bylaws that I felt very strongly about that need to be addressed sooner rather than later was the capital plan committee because of issues what we've had the last several years and the other one was the community preservation. We prioritized, or I should say I prioritized this because this, you know, I've been involved directly with this. Uh, uh, there's still some repercussions from some of the things I personally took and so be it. But uh, what we have right now for CIPC just was not working. So uh, I guess I kind of pushed Jeff into working, as I said, Barb, as Barb said, we as a committee had looked at this and it was just so far beyond what we could do as a bylaw committee mm -hmm. that it was like, look it, let the committee handle most of it because they know what their problems are. I know what some of the problems are, she knows, but you people are the ones that deal with it every day. And it's been a Every year has been one thing after another. So as Barb said, we got into it, and then Jeff and I got into it, and I said, well, you know, we have a problem here. We have a problem here. So I guess, you know, we kind of took it, and then the committee got involved in it big time, which is the way it should have been as far as I'm concerned. And so this is where it evolved from. And as Jeff said, we had worked on something, and there again, not pointing fingers or anything. We spent a lot of time on this, and... Um, you know, last first community occasion that there was a problem was last night that I heard. So, you know, I'd like to hear what the problem is and move on with it and get, to, you know, try to figure out what we're going to do with it. Myself too. That's that's why I say the 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 important thing here, and let's not lose sight of the goal here, right. is to make sure we get a bylaw that allows your committee to function and be effective and have it clear so everybody that has an interest can understand what that bylaw says. 
And that's our main goal. Let's do what's best for the town. So that's where I'm coming from. There's, as far as the language that this committee recommended back on September 5th for review and approval, we felt that we had gone through and, and spent a whole lot of time, a lot of people, not just this committee, but a lot of people, and we thought we had uh, come up with fairly decent language. If people have concerns, this is the time to do it because we're at the 11 and a half hour now. And I don't know, Wendy, you had mentioned that you had also uh, spoke with legal counsel. Was there any issues with legal counsel as um, far as I the didn't language? Get into, I didn't get into the kinds of issues that Barbara will speak to okay. with her. She says, you know, but um, uh, no, we just, we were going back and forth about whether or not to put the whole thing in the warrant, the whole proposed change, right. or just the simple what we did do was was just that we'll be addressing the bylaw essentially. Right. So, Barbara, I think um, I just wanted to speak to how do these bylaws and who writes them? How do they get how they are? Right. <laughs> and so, I just want to say each time we go to town meeting and make a vote on something, it kind of gets uh, first created and then thereafter kind of interjected. Mm -hmm. And so, I feel like after you do that time and time again, having a different maybe town council, town administrator, people putting different articles together that in the end, it's a bit patchworky, just in kind of the way people talk. Some people talk differently, refer differently. And so sometimes you end up with bylaws that have some words in there going, what does that word mean? Because it doesn't seem like mm -hmm. the same way that first sentence, the first paragraph sounds. And so that that was the purpose or, or the thing that we were hoping to um, clarify in the in the bylaws committee to just get, kind of get it to all sound the same and um, certain words that are confusing or what have you to straighten them out. So I think um, as we were working on it in the bylaw committee, um, you asked who who writes these or who should write them. Um, it was my opinion that we were turning it back over to you guys to hear from you what do you struggle with in your bylaw, not for you to rewrite it, but for mm. you to say. Oh, this is this. We always wrangle with this, or you know, this is always a thing, or something is missing that makes it hard for us to do X. You know what I mean? Because I think in the end, it, it goes to the town administrator and town council to write the bylaw. Mm -hmm. um, but it it needs us to say, uh, you know, paragraph two has just been a pain, and we can't figure out what it really means. These words, or or we're not able to, or or maybe it needs to be updated. You know, it's got. Um, amounts or years based on 25 years ago you know we need to have our numbers changed to be more updated or so we we're looking for feedback um, not necessarily for you to write the bylaw I think um, so those are some of the things that you had mentioned just a little while ago um, well for me yeah. it, it's it's being able to um, ha be flexible during the year to be able to review things that come up that sure. we didn't anticipate right. by December 1st sure. of that year. So you're looking and then, for something, so right. the idea was to be able to meet mm. during, you know, have some other option to meet and then, and, and get a go Correct. to a, like if we had to go to a special town meeting or whatever, right. yes. we had the ability to marshal our mm -hmm. recommendation through. Yes. And then the other thing was just to get rid of the posting, the Correct. newspaper posting, because the newspaper, yeah. even, I mean, we've just, we just had another incident. You, mm -hmm. you pay the check yes. and you order the, you yes. know, posting, they cash the check and mm -hmm. then they don't actually follow through. Correct. So to monitor that takes right. so much staff time. It's expensive. Yes, I agree. And uh, uh, if you look at the, we have two newspapers that cover our community. And guess what? Right. The readership is still down, right. way down. Yes. And so it's not really a right. viable way to yes. advertise anymore. Those are the two items yeah. that I was Those expecting to see. That, yeah. And so you would say to town council, you know, we need a couple of articles that enable the committee to, you know, update the way we post our meetings and to, um, you know, put in a section that allows us to deal with mid whatever, <laughs> mid-year mid -year capital right, projects well, that come we along. Well, we did do that as mm -hmm. far as in, in right. our language. And we did right. address right. that. Right, 
So, do we have so it gave us, yeah, it yeah. gave us uh, a mm -hmm. tool there that we could use and apply. Right. So I, I think that that issue has been addressed. The the newspaper, mm -hmm. art, you know, posting article and that that's been addressed. Mm -hmm. That's right. And those are some of the concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I haven't done much with bylaws, but I have worked on contracts. Mm -hmm. And I think, as we all know, once again, you know, none of us are lawyers here. It all comes down to language mm -hmm. and interpretation of that language. And you can put 10 people in a room and have 10 different interpretations. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to try to come up with language that is as clear as possible for the majority of your audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, you know, I think the effort was made, and, and I think everybody understands that. There is a couple of points here, you know, uh, and one, one item that was pointed out was uh, select board shall establish a nine-member committee mm -hmm. to be known as the capital, da da da. But right. there's only seven voting, voting members. members. It should be okay. Seven. Yeah. yeah, but so, I, yeah. But I, that then, is one I did. Talk I think about that's with just council. a mistake. I think we just right. made a mistake. Right. It should have been. Right. I but don't think anybody. But that, you have two members that are non-voting, mm -hmm. so you have seven members. Mm -hmm. Somebody could interpret that that a quorum. You only need the majority of the seven, not the nine. That's you don't true. Have that is true. So, Which is you know, it right. depends on and the council corrected that again. Do you need to change that nine to a seven? Yes. Yes. You know, leave you, it yes. at seven. Yeah, so you change that to a seven. Well, Pretty it is seven. seven. It is right. seven. Yeah. So just leave it alone. Yeah. So you just right. So that's a non-change. So that's a that's a well, except, easy do. Except mm -hmm. what we voted is nine. Right. By, right. by mistake, I think. Right. Are we going to re now? We're getting into. Redoing the bylaws. Well, so we well, well, did it, but we didn't really want to no, redo but that. Right at this very moment, we're starting to. Yeah, I know we're, we're arguing about it again. Yeah, but I think that's a bigger issue here. So yeah. what we should be doing? What choices do we have? We either leave it on the warrant and vote the on it. The warrant or take doesn't it off have completely? it in this form. It simply says take change the out the old and put in the new, and we're suggesting the new be. Much less than but these the new could possibly changes. be two years out. And we're here to talk about that. Or no, it could be an annual town meeting. It could, okay. it could be the two items that are dire um, right. necessities to you right now, okay. without touching all the other the ones Carolyn's um, words, perhaps. So, so what you're looking for is you want to simplify the bylaw, not simplify the bylaw, but uh, simplify what's being brought to the voters. <laughs> by a general statement of what the capital committee is responsible for? So like a one paragraph item, is that what you're looking no. to do? Or? No. I think just to um, uh, propose the changes of those things those that are tying things. your hands. The posting um, requirement right. and um, to um, compose something that gives you a way to um, right deal with things that come mid-year. Okay. So wait, I think yeah. those are the two things. So wait, you want us to throw out what we spent all the time doing <laughs> well, and go back and start and mm -hmm. start taking things out of the present bylaw again? I, I'm suge uh, oh, my suggestion on, would be to hang on to those and continue the conversation, just do the fixing on the problem areas right now. But the problem areas just, just compound it. As we start looking at, at problem areas, they compound into other problem areas, and it ended up coming down to what we, and what we all agreed. Do you want to talk worked. about a particular? Well, like, I, I mean, mean I, I think that's why we turned it over to General Code because we needed um, professional editors and legal um, contemporaries to to give us advice to get us on track so that all of our bylaws um, right. have the same kind I think of that's feel a great to idea. them and. But at the so same why can't time, we give we them a, this? We'll give them our revision. Well, we've already they, given them, and they can tweak. We've well, already given them our bylaws, the and they've so already we embarked upon. Well, because work with this that. is not a voted one, though. No. Well, let's so vote on it and then give it to them. Well, I'm just saying. So <laughs> I've given them. It has to go before. Yeah, well, may this I? This is just what we voted. That we our special on. town meeting mm -hmm. is set for when? November fifteenth. Right. November fifteenth. We are sitting at. October 25th right now. Mm -hmm. We as a committee will be having requests coming in 
by December 1st. Mm -hmm. We as a committee cannot function with the existing, not what, what we're talking about proposed, right. the existing language because there's some conflicting language in there and we're going to be right back to where we were the well, last year when we ran into a few issues. What else besides so, those right. two items that okay, Carolyn addressed? I, I, can, I can interject. Go ahead. Yeah. Here is one last year, which I know the committee, your intention was to strike it out two years ago and unintentionally got put back in the bylaws last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll, in, in the source point with a lot of people in town is taking the cruiser off of uh, the capital line. Now, when they changed it last year, they put in 1016B, okay, which says, all purchase of capital equipment or fixed asset must be presented for study by the Capital Planning Committee, regardless of the source of funding, period. So that means every grant, that means every gift has to be brought to the committee, which is not right. That's not related to the cruiser, though. The cruiser was taken out it was because it's recurring. I, I understand that. But B it's is separate language. from A. A says non-recurring. B is a separate uh, portion which totally turns around and negates A. Well, And too many of this stuff is integrated throughout the thing. So yes, it would have, it would, that's what Jeff and I were originally were trying to do, was just pick out a line here and there and, and mm -hmm. Jeff being presenting it back to the committee and working with the committee. Okay, that didn't work either because it was too much integration from one to the other and that's why the committee sent, spent so many hours trying to work out this so that we would get rid of all this overlap and places where one portion negated the other. And that's what that's why we came up. And as I said, if I, you know, it, it, I guess I'm more responsible than anything else for pushing this because it has been such a problem year after year that uh, and the committee, the bylaw committee itself decided not to meet um, you know, so, until so, code publishers so, got but done. I'm a little confused. I'm, still, I'm a little confused. I'm, I'm sorry. confused too. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused okay. too. So we, so we we made a decision to move the cruiser to the operational budget of the police because it happens every year, and if we had a really bad year, what we would do as a select board, where we would cut, is that would be one of the things that would be one of the first things to be cut. Okay, and so that I mean that was the, the thought clarify, process. The I mean, capital improvement committee didn't decide that. Yeah, we no, had no, no, nothing, nothing no, 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 we did. No. We did decide that. No, no, no we did. We did. Uh, we did. Yes, we did. did. We I did because every year it was coming forward. John was coming with the same request every single year, right. and and so we it was a big deal to put it in the operational budget because the operational budget would go up by a huge amount, you know, a larger percentage than be normal. I agree but, with you. But the thing was, it was our decision as a select board that we burn a cruiser every year having them out patrolling. If we had a bad year like 2008 where the stock market crashed, so our two fiscal 2008, uh, 2009 and 10 were terrible years, the excise tax dropped off, we had no, you know, our income was adversely affected. That would be one thing that you would just immediately cut. And, okay. and, and if we started having breakdowns, then we would cut down on mileage and, you know, all, all those things. But that was one, because our, we're so people intensive that you, you know, I understand you don't, all yeah, that. Okay. Let's get back to the bylaw. That's but that's other. what, but that was why. <laughs> that's a whole other <laughs> right. argument, I Carolyn. Yeah. I know. Time I'm to call. Saying, let's saying. go, that's let's go back to the bylaw here. Let's get back to the bylaw because I'd like to get this mm -hmm. focused. But the idea like, was to I'd have, like to be able to not to be from the Barbara, Barbara, I hear what you're saying. Okay. Okay. I think to um, maybe things like something that comes every year, um, this is a capital planning committee. You're looking at things that are coming up that maybe the finance or the select board don't know about, things that are on the horizon, things that are um, big that we need to think forward to or to squeeze in between other plans. You're a plan. Um, if there's something every year, 
Well, I think everyone's sense. aware I of that. And so the smaller things, I mean, I think I was a little concerned about the small time and dollar amount because I feel like that muddies up your, you know, where you could be spending um, time on. Right. We need you for the big things to, right. to forecast, like, what what is going to be something that we need to, the financing part of the government needs to know about or plan on. Can I address that um, yeah. just very quickly? Bruce, I did see your hand go up. I'll get right to you. Mm -hmm. The, the $10,000 uh, number mm -hmm. was determined by the committee because we we're concerned, again, sitting on the finance committee, uh, <coughs> to roll here. Well, we we're concerned about s some of the uh, mm -hmm. budgets for the different departments. And if we go with, say, like a $20,000 or $25,000 threshold mm -hmm. to kick in to a capital improvement, mm -hmm. if you have a department that comes in and all of a sudden has two or three items that is, is non-reoccurring and all of a sudden it hits at $15,000 and $18,000, mm -hmm. it's going to blow their budget way out of proportion. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see a huge spike in their budget one year, right. then down, then up. You know, I so just, so mm -hmm. I, okay. I guess from the finance committee's but view, the they're finance a little committee. concerned as far as the right. fluctuation but, but or I big swings in We need to contain budgets. what is your task and you're the planning and when you get to the finance committee then you can look at the planning but I think as a town as a, a part of the treasury part of the town right. um, and an ad hoc member it, of this committee and an ad, well that <laughs> what have you the finance committee are very capable of handling um, looking at a, a plan and, and deciding whether that's financially or when would it be financially we really need you guys to focus on you know, the capital plan, because that's just really necessary. We have so many things that need attention. I hope I'm Agreed, not but being I think disrespectful. A, but there may be a hole, a big hole in what we do as a town, mm -hmm. maybe, or I'm, well, miss, or I'm missing something. Let's right. say we use 25000 mm -hmm. and because this came up in an email mm -hmm. related to this year. Okay. A department has says, oh, that $14,000 item, that's capital. Mm -hmm. I'm going to request the select board to make a special article for it. And so the select board looks at it and says, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that should be a special article. And I'm like, you know, you do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. That, when it goes to a special article, nobody has looked at it except the select board, mm -hmm. right? Is, or is there some other means where it's reviewed, somebody besides the select board reviews it? Well, the whole thing goes through the finance committee. The finance committee the finance, and the select boards no, are the ones of them. But the finance committee doesn't give yeses and noes on, they kind of, well, no, they, they give a wink they to see, capital items, but they don't have they any see authority. All the budgets. They don't have any authority no. to say yes and no on capital they items. Do. Oh, yes, they do. do. Well, you have an, right, you, have you make a recommendation. Make a recommendation to Correct. The, right. It doesn't go at the town floor, though. Of it does. It's not capital yes, it items when you look at it. Absolutely. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. They and review the whole one of the warrant. complaints that I had in here. It looks like mm -hmm. the finance committee has been cut out of this. Right. I think the charge be needs to be focused. Making a recommendation to town meeting, as mm -hmm. we have. Yeah. For in the past. They weren't in there in the past. The finance committee wasn't in there in the past. I don't know what was in there in the past. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. It has not been in. It's been presented to the finance committee. The capital plan has but been but presented there's to the really finance no committee for <clears throat> recommendation. Yes. But there's really no weight. Well, there's, 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 uh, granted, the finance committee can look at it and say, yeah, we agree or don't agree, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have any voting power on that. Yeah, but, the, I think, um, yeah, but don't you make a recommendation? Mm -hmm. You do yes. make a recommendation. We make a recommendation to on, on all the articles. All yeah. the articles. Which Bruce, you had a comment? Uh, I just want to comment on that. A recommendation to town meeting really doesn't mean much as a finance committee. We can recommend That's a very whatever good point. we want, mm -hmm. and we can and recommend to Simon revised budgets, but it's up to the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. And once it gets on the warrant, once it gets on the warrant, and it's the, the two hundred people who show up, a lot of review, and everybody's yes. happy. The two hundred people who show up, who yeah. are who are mostly people who are, are have special interest in exactly. whatever the issue is. Mm -hmm. My you know my concern in the 
it was with the last one. We talk about major non-recurring capital expenditures. We don't define that, and I think that needs a definition. Because in 1016A1, you talk about purchased or undertaken at intervals less than five years and have a greater life expectancy of five years or $10,000 or more. To me, every five years is recurring. You could buy something that would be purchased again in five years, but is it a major capital item? Well, it fits the definition, though. It falls in here. It says less than but more it, than five years and more than ten thousand bucks. But it is recurring. It's not a non-recurring major capital expenditure. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So you, you got almost hmm. like you can you haven't defined major non-recurring. Right. You've defined what you can do, and mm -hmm. it can re reoccur every five years. Right. I, yeah. And I think that's the modern problem. Well, you could also say something reoccurs every 20 years, and it's, re I mean, like the ambulance, everything right? Oh, the roof. Right. I mean, everything the roof, reoccurs. Right. right. But roof. The roof. Years. They're going mean, to reoccur exactly. at some point. And those are things that... Right. The, Terminology. The Sewer plants at. every 40 years. Right. So, I mean, it's like uh, the word non-recurring to me mm -hmm. is... We, we non just... It's a good it, point. It is a good point. It's a good point. We point. have, just to clarify this... Mm -hmm. All the committees, and I'm sure individuals that worked on this, have looked at several uh, communities' bylaws for capital improvement plans. Mm -hmm. And we went through, and we as a committee also did that. And finally, we went to the state's site. Mm -hmm. And went right to the state, and a lot of this language, because of their sample, a lot of this language that is here is from the state's example of what a capital improvement plan should be. And we tailor-made it, or the best we could, to the needs of Deerfield. Now, I'm at a point here, and I don't know how the committee feels, that we have done everything within our power, and again, not being attorneys, to be able to bring this language forward and try to do the best we could for the town of Deerfield. Uh, wide open, if, if people have concerns about this, then I would say that in a very short period of time, somebody's <coughs> going to take the ball, put a draft together, and, and present it to the town for, for approval. Otherwise, we're stuck with the old language that we know has some flaws in it, We'll just have to work around it. And, and it's yeah. going to tie it's going to tie our hands I think you're right, to what we can do. I have to say, first of all, I want to just say I appreciate all the hard work you've done. I honestly, genuinely do, and I know all the hard work Bruce has done mm -hmm. because we've done some of that together. Um, I think we you've already. This is what happens in these meetings. You make a few steps forward, and then somehow you veer off. We were actually moving and sort of reaching, it sounded like, a consensus on what the real problem areas were. And it seems to me if you do that, we can focus on those. Mm -hmm. And those are what we can reach consensus around about mm -hmm. changing at this meeting. Mm -hmm. And then keep this in your pocket for the next, you know, the, the other things that are more policy rather than problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, um, well, I think, and I hear what you're saying, Wendy, but... I, I think our concern as far as the committee is with a special town meeting, we're running out of time here, and we, we don't know, as a committee, we, we're not sure what's going to be brought forth for approval at that town meeting. And, and I'm saying if we keep the conversation going the way we have about yeah. identifying the problem areas that have stepped you up or whatever the expression is, right. um, focus on those. As Carolyn said, those two items, the other one you just mentioned, Bruce, and we'll just do those. Rather than change your policy of what the level is, you just in 2017, and I just asked Bruce, where did this come from? You just changed the, um, from up to 20, up to 25. Mm -hmm. um, or, you, you know, you, you keep moving that number around. Stick with what we have for now. Well, we came up, with, we came to consensus and with, what we voted on at our last meeting. This is our consensus. 
It's simply a if recommendation. If you guys want to open the, if, if you, you guys want to open it, the discussion and well, you want to change it, or you, yeah, I think we've you know, done what we're, we're going to do. You know, to me, I, I'm we, done. I think what I'm Wendy's done. saying is well, we I, just went to the people, the community, in 2017 and changed that number. Up. And now you're changing and it now again. And now this year we're changing it back down. We, we were just up. making the because one had 25 and one had 10. We were just making them both 10. Is what we're reasoning was on that one. And the concern was we don't want to micromanage. There's no question about it, but we want some consistency as far mm -hmm. as what our committee is doing so everybody mm -hmm. in town knows that. And what we were also concerned about was uh, in the past, the finance committee has expressed some concerns and, and also at the annual town meeting sometimes people ask why certain budgets spike. In that, and what we're trying to do is trying to keep a number where those department budgets, individual department budgets, wouldn't spike. In that, and I hear what you're saying, Barbara. That's Let them vote it on the town right. floor. Let the finance committee mm -hmm. explain that. That's right. And you know, if if that's good for everybody, well, that's you know, their charge. So be it. But you know, you're going to have to decide. Then is that ten thousand dollar amount too low? Are you looking to make it higher? And again, I agree with Jack. Mm -hmm. This, as far as the, the information and the knowledge and the samples that this committee could collect, this was the consensus that we came up with and we voted for recommendation. Mm -hmm. And if people feel that their changes need to be made in that, then so be it. Make make those changes and get it back to us just so we know this is a document you're going to run your meetings on. These, this is a document you're going to use and you're going to apply it to any capital request that come, comes your way. And we will do that as a committee. We don't have a problem with that. But right now we're kind of caught in between as far as what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And my concern is the special town meeting, basically two and a half weeks away, mm -hmm. and the request that we will have coming in December 1st. And we already know we've got some major issues here. We just learned the other night, we're looking at uh, about 29, uh, 25 million for a sewer system that we're gonna to have to deal with. Bruce, comment. Uh, another issue, you might not even have a recommendation from Frontier or Deerfield on any capital improvements until mm -hmm. January. So that, then they can't be looked at in the next fiscal year according to your bylaw, right? Correct, well, Frontier Frontier's a regional, so, right. and a, and that doesn't fall under our purview. So be included in right. the, it's a different no, voting entity. That's a, right. Okay. You, the, what would happen with Frontier, if I have this correctly, is it would come to the town meeting floor and people would have to deal with it at the town meeting floor as far as voting it up or down. As far as coming to this committee, Frontier Capital Improvement will not come to this committee. I think you've done a great committee. job on it. I, I do mm -hmm. have just a concern on definition, but I think you should present it to whoever you need to present it to and tell them you want to put it on town meeting law and if they need to change it whatever they want to do that's what they should do yeah well, that's what we did we're here tonight we've already done that can well, i can i just mm -hmm. clarify the ten thousand? that was selected because that's the criteria the auditor uses the what uses the auditor if it's more than the ten thousand, <laughs> he considers it or his firm considers it a capital asset mm -hmm. that's why we just wanted to be in sync with the auditor bruce and uh, I, I have to reiterate the same thing, is after all the work everybody's put in, uh, worst case scenario, it'll happen like last year, okay? What went through last year actually went through, and I'm not pointing fingers or anything, uh, you guys did a terrific job. There was problems with the existing bylaw. You tried to get something put through in a very short period of time. It corrected some issues, but it made other issues worse, okay? I think we've all spent a lot more time, uh, the committee, and as I said, unfortunately, I kind of took the ball by myself because the bylaw committee kind of fell apart to a certain degree. And uh, I would have to say that, you know, what is the worst case scenario? That you have to do uh, change it a little bit next year? Um, we know what we have is not working. 
but I would like to hear, without getting into long discussions about each article, is what the other concerns are. You know, to see, you know, whether these are mountains or whether these are just little bumps. You know, if they're mountains, well, fine. But if they're just little bumps, let's try to have something will work. Mm -hmm. So without getting too long over each word, I'd like to hear from Barb and Wendy. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, well it uh, sounded I'll, like you wanted something put together and sent to you guys. Well, I, I just think uh, we need to do something because because mm -hmm. we're, we're sitting here kind of guessing. Mm -hmm. you, you're, and mm -hmm. believe me, I appreciate mm -hmm. your input, Barbara and, mm -hmm. and Wendy's and Brenda's. You know, mm -hmm. I think the committee appreciate any input. But we're sitting here kind of guessing, mm -hmm. you know, what needs to be changed, what doesn't, you know. We, so we don't know the uh, specifics. Right. Uh, a couple of things have been addressed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like with the dollar amount there, mm -hmm. I, I think that was just explained why we looked at that as a, as a $10,000 number. Mm -hmm. if, if you, uh, you know, feel that... A better number is twenty thousand or twenty five thousand, you know, just fine. Mm -hmm. You know, do that, mm -hmm. make the change and explain to us and that's the tool we'll use, that's the tool that we'll implement to uh, you know, assess because the I, I think we request. could argue about that right. number. We could argue about that number exactly. for years. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know Yeah, it, I'm certainly to not me the, to argue the about department heads seem perfectly willing to make requests. For ten thousand dollars, for anything over ten, they were perfectly willing to justify their requests. Mm -hmm. And and for us, I don't know, it wasn't that big a deal really to consider it. You know, twelve thousand dollars for the fence around the. We didn't spend more than a half an hour on that. It was a, that. It was basically, you know, basically. But, but they we, were willing we, to do that, and they were willing to right. come to us and and and. Um, Justify why they wanted to spend twelve thousand dollars. I don't see how that's a bad thing. It's not, other know? than the fact that we just voted it the other way last year. That's yeah, also but there's it, other stuff yeah. that we voted, and that some of it yeah, was well, illegal. Yeah, well, last year, last year was a little that, confusing. It actually, it was two years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was Seven, two thousand seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Right, ten thousand last year. Right, it was ten thousand. One number was ten thousand. Right. Another right. number was twenty-five thousand. Right. So that creates some confusion right there, mm -hmm. and so we we're trying to eliminate right. the two numbers as far as the confusion between the two numbers and how those numbers were applied yeah. into what they were applied to. Mm -hmm. And I think that creates, a, so that was one of the reasons why we were trying to come mm -hmm. up, as you said, some consistency throughout mm -hmm. the language and focus on one number instead of having two variables there. Mm -hmm. Bruce, comment? Um, just get back to the re, uh, recurring as an example, uh, an ambulance might be purchased in four years, which might happen this, ca this capital year. It wouldn't come to capital because it doesn't meet the requirement. Got it. I don't know. Yeah, well, this is the time to discuss it. Five that. years. Mm -hmm. And because it's, and, it's not and or, 10,000. So if it was and or, it would come. If it was just and, it will not come. It will just be, they'll go ahead and buy an ambulance in four years instead of five. And it's non-recurring. So to me, they can buy whatever they want to buy. It's like a police vehicle. That's my issue with non-recurring without a definition. Can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. We're here in the spirit of trying to reach a consensus, which we're not going to do tonight. Mm -hmm. But I think if we had a small group, and again, the bigger the issues that we might lie aside could be done at a future meeting. But for right now, what hobbles you, I think we could get a little group together and draft a motion for town meeting that addresses those issues and not make all these changes. And that is the way I see forward for doing something rather than being at a stalemate and putting those other issues that are not essential but matters of policy versus matters of function um, and having them continue discussion for a future town meeting. Um, are, you're adding a part uh, Okay, 10. I'm sorry. Can someone respond to what I said as a process? 
Is this okay, Bruce? It is responding to your process. Okay, I'm sorry. The italicized 1016C is a response to Wendy's request. That is part of the problem we have. Now you've eliminated that problem with those italicized mm -hmm. additions. Is that something you would like specifically to be added to this town special town meeting one? Is that what you're talking about, Wendy? I'm talking about how we go from tonight to a motion and getting a exactly. small committee together to work out where we have some challenges from the financial department and myself I think, with mm -hmm. with what you presented. Right. Bruce, Bruce, two Bruce's. <laughs> There's some language from town council to help right. us get that done. I, yes. I think Bruce is correct if we picked up the C. C. Mm -hmm. That would take care of the cr any crises mm -hmm. or any issues yeah. that come up that, you know, we, we need to, I, I feel That's why it was in there. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So I if mean, we pulled that out, that's if we starred that, All right. and we starred the, you know, elimination of the Newspaper. So take out yeah. 1018. And and then. Um, what are Barbers? What were the others? That you I had? would be. Um, it was those two. Well, things. we're not doing any of the others. We're just doing those two. You're saying. So it was. It was. We're talking about doing just Wasn't those two. You're talking about. You we're just doing talking about those essential. two. Things. Well, I, there again, you're going right I back to 1016B. Which basically uh, negates A, which means every asset needs to be brought before, whether you consider it recurring or not. Because B, that got put in last year, and it eliminated the vote that the uh, committee had previously made two years or three years ago that the, rec uh, that the cruiser was a recurring, so therefore would not be part of it. When they put in t uh, 1016B, well, two years ago, that in all reality, that and we're using the cruiser as an example, right. exactly. that should have been brought before the capital planning the last two years, with when they inserted that B. That was a new insert, and that that overruled because uh, uh, section A. Okay, but we're not we're not the police of. We're not the capital police. No, we, I, I understand. Yeah, we, no, no. It, but that's why I'm saying. I think we've spent a lot of work. I, I'm sorry, I disagree with you, Wendy, but I think the committee and myself and everybody involved has spent a lot of work on it. And if there's a couple minor amendments, they'd be made on the floor. Uh, code, com code publishers are, well, there again, I was under the impression that. We have a commitment from them every year, and part of their commitment is to codify what is sent into them. And I guess I'm still mixed on what they're supposed to do because well, do they've never corrected this before. We, Why are we going to get it corrected at this point? I guess I don't understand. As you know, because uh, uh, this was sent into them last year or two years ago when it got changed, they, and I thought part of their contract was I will, to codify. I, will, I would like to clarify that when, when please. We compose a warrant together with our town government and our town council, and we send it to the attorney general, and it's approved. When we send it to general code, we're asking them to incorporate it into our bylaws. We're not asking them to edit it. They don't have any right to edit it. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Okay. They don't. They, we send it to them because we say this is what we voted. This is what was approved. Council, mm -hmm. This is what we right. want incorporated in our bylaws. This project that we've turned over to them this spring is completely different. It's a it's a professional yes. um, organization of editors and and Lawyers. municipal legal mm -hmm. to push through everything and you know update terminology, um, make the whole code consistent within itself, um, kind of highlight anything that might be in conflict with. When we send in a, a bylaw. It doesn't, we don't necessarily perhaps know that we've now made some other bylaw, you know, not mm -hmm. marry with it. Right. So yeah. when you do that year after year after year, and I think we're in year 20 since we've had them look it over, yeah, it gets difficult to Our code book is work terrible. through. So, so this is a different process we're asking them to do, as you've done, go through the bylaw, tell us editorially, um, 
and to make recommendations and legally. So, okay. so if we did the C and we eliminated the postings, mm -hmm. you know, in the newspaper, mm -hmm. Skip. we know that we're going to do everything else, then mm -hmm. we should be okay, right? As I would contact the, them and say that we've now changed these two, two. So as you review it, please bear in mind that we've okay. changed those. And then, then can we take this, which we worked on, and then, so then what would be this, this would be the immediate step as part of their work. But then how do we move from, um, I mean, when do they get done? Mm -hmm. What's the timeline on this? And I'm um, sorry I if I missed that I don't that have part. it right here, but I do have a timeline. And okay. so they send back a whole manual of recommendations and generally the idea is to give each committee or department what's kind of been okay. pointed out in theirs and see um, they usually give you a choice do you want to make a change do you want to leave it do you want to do something else or so so then then we could take this which we worked on and we kind of we have consensus See if they on. took already care of some of it in a legal m manner or an editorial manner um, okay. And then whatever hasn't been picked up by them, um, that's just kind of familiar to us that we feel okay. needs to be in there, then we, we would make those changes. The bylaw committee would become active again and work with committees. That's okay. my understanding. Skip. Yeah. Uh, my, my concern is a concern that I've expressed before. Uh, I think it was last night that the select board uh, voted the warrant. As far as I'm concerned, the time they vote the warrant, the motion that's going to be made on the town meeting floor needs to be written and available. It's, it's BS that we're sitting here talking about changes now to something that the selectmen have said is going to be on the town meeting floor. There's no reason that this could not have been done prior to this. And if there is a reason, then we shouldn't be taking it up on November 15th. Let it be taken up the next special town meeting or at the annual town meeting. We're going to go to town meeting and no one's going to have the slightest idea what's going to be on the warrant, the motion, until whoever, whichever member of the board of selectmen reads it. And it's like, you know, but I, I still think we still have the crisis. We can so present what they gave, or we can amend it on the floor. My intervening was an attempt, and I'll repeat what I said earlier, to see if we could reach some consensus, because issues were raised, um, and I've raised them previously, and I were not, was not heard, I feel. Um, and it, I think it's got, it, got, it got out of hand, and it's much more than we anticipated to be making changes with. So at any rate, we can do it that way. We can just, you made your recommendation. We'll work, we'll be prepared if we need to do a, a floor amendments, but I brought this to your attention last night um, because I thought maybe we could together reach more of a consensus on this. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's late. I will acknowledge that. But I have well, to say, I've been very frustrated. I put a lot of time and effort, too, right. and I don't feel like, and I'm not doing this to undermine you at all, please. Right. But I, I, it came out way different than it had started or where we thought it was going. Well, let me back up, and, and I respect you, Wendy, obviously, and I respect what you're saying in there, but when this originally came up, it was brought to the attention as we're looking at this as a committee and saying that this is really out of our league and maybe our committee, we should maybe have input about, hey, we ran into this problem, we ran into this mm -hmm. problem, but you know, it isn't really the committee's responsibility to write their own bylaw. Mm -hmm. That was the select board and the town administrator and we even uh, propose that that the select board and town administrators get together and come up with language and at the time you were swamped the select board was swamped there's no question about it but we as a committee were concerned that we weren't going to be able to do our job as a committee 
and so we attempted to try to come up with with Bruce's obviously mm -hmm. guidance we attempted to try to come up with some bylaw language that would correct some of the issues that we had discussed and come up with some bylaw language that would work so we could move forward and we could function efficiently and lawfully, shall we say, as a committee when we have to make decisions on requests. And through, it went, yeah, through, it went beyond that. And, you know, yeah. frankly, I was at at least two of your meetings having this right. discussion. Right. Well, and I'm not, just, I'm not, and I'm not pointing on fingers. And went off I'm not pointing it, fingers. I'm yeah. just saying this is <laughs> where we're at. Yeah. And this, this was recommended back on September 5th, and here we are on October 25th, and it kind of caught this committee by surprise. I mean, we walked into kind of a... Better now than a town meeting right. floor, no, and that's and, and why I... And I agree. I, I agree. You know. But right now, to, to try to hammer this all out again mm -hmm. is, what, almost, well, is almost I, I, impossible. Well, I'm suggesting either doing that with two or three people, three, right. four people at the most, or... You know, I don't want it to be you present something and some other folks present something different. We don't want to amend it on the town meeting floor. Right. But on, on the other hand, that would be okay too, because that's democracy, right. right? But if we can hammer out something again, now that we know that there are other people who, who have well, found well, challenges let's, with this. Let's, yeah. let, may I propose this? Of course. Take, take what we had recommended and you as a group that raised some concerns in that address address this I and make those and make those changes mm -hmm. and make those changes make the amendments whatever you may need to do of what you think will work Is and, that a motion? and then we can vote that on the floor I'm all write done. that into your motion no, Is that a motion? I'm all done. I, I can I speak yes okay two things um, first off we've got to have my first request back 10 minutes ago was I would like to hear just what other issues are just without getting into a long discussion of each one mm -hmm. to see whether we have mountains or we have molehills okay and Barbara was not allowed to give that answer and I would like to hear that well okay I, I we defer to the that. board as other, what other, than, other than the number issue okay but mm -hmm. what other right. issues stand mm -hmm. Well, I have here an email oh, that I just received this morning. Oh, I, okay. I don't have that. Yeah. Oh, is that and the Brent, was, Brenda's comments? Right. Oh, I right. sent that and last night. And I thought night. some yes. of the comments were legit. And, Brent, you know, and one Barbara was, has something One was something. about the number nine and seven. Okay, I so, don't have that. So, so that's right. easy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in 1016, A1 sheet label it, the phrase purchase or undertaken at intervals of not less than five years can be interpreted interpreted a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. Clarification is needed as far as the f phrase purchased or undertaking at intervals of not less than five years. And that was under section 1016. And she was looking for a clarification on that because she mm -hmm. felt it could be interpreted That's a couple fair. different ways. Not, not sure what that means. Okay. It seems pretty clear to me. I, I don't think this should be the forum to go through the bylaws and say either. what needs to be oh. changed. Then and then the I kind of agree with Bruce. And then the and kinda, uh, section 1016 was the $10,000 number, and I think it would be more reasonable to be $25,000 in 10 years instead of 10000 in five years. Part of the reason for the 10000 that this committee proposed mm -hmm. in the five years the 10,000, as John pointed out, in the five years, because you're renewing a capital improvement plan every five years, and you want to, so it just seemed to be a little consistent there instead of doing 10 years down the road. And then uh, the unanimous approval of a capital expenditure that arises during the year should be reconsidered. So in other words, what we said was everybody uh, that showed up at that meeting and had to vote on something that happened during the year, it had to be a whatever the number may be. You know, four zero, five zero, six zero, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Everybody had to approve it. And it sounds like they where, just where, want to do simple majority. So, so I guess where did that take idea on come it? from? Was those that, were the items. 
can we get can we get back to what's broken? And I got to go to what Carolyn says. There's only two things. I mean, we've been working with the bylaws as they were for a number of years with tweaks here and there. But I think I I think maybe I agree with Bruce. Let's look at the mountains. There's two mountains that, in my opinion, and that's um, parts 1016C and the report in the in the newspaper and. Those are the things that need to be fixed right now. The rest we've worked with for years. Well, we did so, that with our language, with what right, we're proposing. Right, but, but, but we're getting hung we up on... We addressed both of those. But we're, but we're getting hung up on stuff other than those. Well, those so, are some... I, 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 those I, I propose to move it like, forward as our recommendation and let... And whoever wants to discuss it further can discuss it further. We've discussed it for hours and hours and hours. There I don't is, think we're going to figure out anything more than we already have. I think hand it over and there's a motion made. It. Second. To what? To, to, to what? Just to present it repeat? to whoever, who, whoever, it. whoever is. Yes. Move this forward to up the yeah. chain. Okay, I'm not yeah. against that either. But okay. the, the only Should thing, can, okay, did someone second it? Yes. Yes, okay. second. Can we just have a little discussion. discussion? Yep. Okay, so we put a lot of time in this, and I understand, you know, we're not lawyers, so it has to be. I understand it should be reviewed. I certainly am appreciative of Barbara working this in and Wendy's time. So if we push this forward to do whatever, okay, that seems to be what the motion is, right? And so if the decision of the select board or the recommendation of the select board is to do C and eliminate the postings, are people going to be upset? No. No. No, we'll just yeah. work and with whatever, and then, whatever. And then we guys, still have whatever this. We have. Whatever the town <laughs> meeting votes. Yes, but what I'm saying is okay. I, I don't want people to get up and, and be upset because we did put a lot of time in this. No. There is a lot of consensus in this, and the overall philosophy of this is correct. But what we need to do is hand this over to someone who is a lawyer and is going to integrate it into our bylaws, and, and that's there isn't we enough doing. time. So, originally anyway so. so what we're going to do so if uh, but i want to just have a game plan if the game plan is to pull c out because we we are missing that okay and to fix the you know the newspaper requirement are people everything the same that's and leave, that's and leave our old language and yeah. take the old language and then yeah. keep this keep this <laughs> and and have as a well, yeah. You opinion. know, thing to work with with the lawyers later on. Is this going to be okay with They're people? They're going to have to clarify the old language because there are some other issues there right. in the old language. Right. That, but that, I meant we take this so Wendy can take this. Right. Can, Wendy can take this and work with them over a period of time. That would be But fine. if we can fix the two things that was started this whole thing, yeah. well, that would be okay with everybody? I'm amazed. Yeah, I, I, yeah, oh, okay. This is our all right. Then I'm o then I'm okay moving yeah. ahead and voting on this. Then. Any other discussion? Further no. discussion? Barbara, Wendy, anybody? Mm -hmm. Everybody good? So, Bruce. So you're. So what are, what your are you moving ahead? We're, we're, we're pushing this forward. Oh, you're moving everything ahead, and, and you're going to be out. Yeah. You're staying with and, what you said. And sent what's going to happen, Bruce? Wait, wait a is I'm going to go to the select board when we talk to the select board when we have our next meeting and I'm going to say we as a committee are okay with pulling C out and eliminating the newspaper requirements mm -hmm. as our interim step. We as a capital No, as the old language. This, yeah, that's not this okay. C. Your motion was You're to present what this. you presented. Yes. Your motion, this. Wait. Your motion was to present what you presented. And to Carolyn was asking whether you'd be upset if it was different at town meeting floor. You no. mean pulling C out to, for approval only? Mm -hmm. C yeah. right. and the elimination of the thing for the town meeting of November 15th. When you say pull it out, I don't, you don't yeah. mean take it out of what we presented. No, 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 but, the one that but use that C, C right. and 1018. For November 15th, put C into our bylaws, eliminate the newspapers, and then move forward under that fix, temporary fix, but keep this whole thing together so that Wendy and Barbara and 
Bruce ultimately, when we work with the code people, can incorporate yes, most sir. of our ideas from this. So is that okay? Is for, that for, meeting? for clarification, for clarification, uh, Carolyn, are you saying that we're going to take C language and insert it into our old existing language, our existing language? So we're going to be working with our existing language with a few exceptions of C, C? being one and the newspaper requirement being, being another. Uh, being eliminated. Can I amend the motion? Now, no, right. now, <laughs> now that, leaves us, that leaves us with two figures again, a $10,000 figure and a $25,000 figure no, of the old we're, language. No, because we're working with the 25. No, of the old language. The current language is 10. It's 10 and 25. 25. Mm -hmm. Where is it? cropped out on here. It's 25, 25, 25 in regards to buildings for, and right. Oh, for buildings. Yeah, right. yeah, right. Yeah. Buildings are not which could create some confusion, which it did last time. But we're going to correct that. Okay. That would be part of keeping our whole, of moving this forward to the select board. Yes. To move forward. I agree. To Wendy and Barbara and that committee to mm -hmm. fix. Because this is what we want fixed, okay? The whole mm -hmm. thing. This, was, this, was, this encompasses what we all had consensus on. So what we're doing is pushing it forward, but we're pushing it forward to a hopefully maybe regular this regular town meeting or the next town meeting. But for the November 15th special town meeting, my recommendation to, of the, to the select board, or I would make the motion to the select board to, to make on town meeting floor, is C and eliminate the newspaper. I'd right. like to make a motion to amend the motion. To do, sorry, Jack. <laughs> to do what Carolyn is saying is for the special town meeting that we just vote on inserting C and doing the language where we take the report to the, town, the, the newspaper, newspaper out, whatever that mm -hmm. section is. Um, and then after the special town meeting, do whatever is needed to do to correct the other things in here. With the intention of what we worked on all summer. Right. Okay. I, okay, for discussion, my only concern with that is that. Uh, wait, a minute, we got, wait a minute, we got a motion. Do we have a second on mine? So I second no. that. Okay. <laughs> so, so his motion amends the first motion. Mm -hmm. Right. I think was so. Was that seconded? Yes. Calendar. Okay, so discussion. My, my only concern is that with the existing bylaw, if I remember correctly, we ran into a couple of issues with some of that language in there. And if you're going to do this, I just don't want to get hamstrung again because of that existing language. There is one area there with the, uh, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, and it's yes, been several no, please months remember. in that, but uh, there is one area there where it came up where $10,000, the fencing for around the uh, landfill okay. transfer station. Okay. When you read the language, did that fencing actually fit the definition of that language for over ten thousand dollars and when you looked at it somebody could have argued that no the fencing did not belong in there as far as a capital improvement because of the way the language was written even though it was over ten thousand dollars so I, I just don't want to run into that again this year where all of a sudden we get requests and the language in the existing bylaw uh, creates gray areas again. And so I have, I have no problem as far as moving this forward as long as somebody reviews that also. I don't want this committee to get caught in, in a position where uh, we have conflicting language. Again, yeah. That's, well, that's the all. only thing is if, if everybody is willing, if the department heads 
go with the spirit of what we're trying to do, they submit it, then we can decide, is this a gray area or not? Okay. Right. And, and we just try to do that. We, right. vote, we vote as we see it. Yeah. Skip. Skip. Uh, Thanks. Two things that you can show together is one, we've been operating with the capital improvement plan as it's been written since 2004, and at least to date, <clears throat> I have never heard anybody stand up in town meeting floor and say that this is an inappropriate motion. Uh, and next, what would happen if no changes were made and you had to live with what you've got? Could you do the job as best you can? Well, of course. It, it, the only problem is actually Bruce got up and said we didn't post right and, and that we have no way to um, review the. Um, so you'd have a second special tenant. You had us yeah. have to follow it up with the special I mean, so C and the newspapers would eliminate Bruce standing up and we could operate under the old stuff. I mean, I just, I don't want Bruce to feel compelled that he has to. Which Bruce you know. are we talking about? No, I know, right? There's a lot of Bruce. Bruce thank you. Bruce I don't want. One, I, I don't want Bruce to feel good guy. Hell, Bruce. Look what happens. I know. Right. So anyway, I know we have to sort end this up. All right. But there I was think a motion the, made. I think the spirit. Right. There was a the motion spirit. made let's, let's and seconded. Right, let's get this straightened out. Any further discussion? Well, can I just clarify what this motion yeah, is? Motion. <laughs> so I, I, this is what I, this is what I think the motion is. So amended motion. Skip made a motion to present the CIPC's proposed bylaw voted at the September 15 meeting to the select board and the town administrator with the amendment that in 1015 the composition of the committee should be seven rather than nine, i.e. seven members with two non-voting ex officio members. Okay, is that your? Yes. Okay. And then Pareski made a an amendment to this motion to 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 just present to town meeting or to who I don't not Still sure works. select yeah to okay. town meeting select board select special town meeting of November fifteenth to okay. um, uh, section 10-16C right and to remove the requirement to advertise the capital plan in the newspaper which is 1018 which is 1018 you can put that down that's right or was <laughs> yes no no it's 1017 yeah but that's the amended one is it oh no do you have the no it's 1018 1018 there so we'll strike the current one. 1018, John. 1017 10 is the, the select board shall publish the newspaper, the advertising. general circulation, town website, and a cable access. Mm -hmm. So we'll just 1017. I don't know. It depends which one you're looking at. I know. We've got too many, too many out here. You're I looking know. at the strikeout one now because that's what the it's the one you handed out tonight. Yes. That's 1017B. So, so John, what you're saying is no. Oh, to only, you're, you're sort of negating skips, your amendment is sort of, to no, me, is no, negating no, skips. Actually, no, because we're passing this on as what we're passing, we work no, on. No, 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 it's actually no, I negate it. Let's, actually get, let's keep it moments. simpler. I negate what Skip said, and just for the special town meeting, just put in that 10. No, but yours is 10, in addition. 1016C, and whatever the requirement is to publish what we do in the newspaper, Mm -hmm. And then after that, we can go. Th everybody can look at. Well, the I don't think we're going to look at it anymore. Agree. It's, it's, Agree. Yeah, so I think it's two separate motions. Myself, we're handing everything over. We're, and we're also everything making over. a motion to for to the add, special town meeting. Spe so two okay, separate, that'll I think work. That'll motions. work. Whatever it takes. To work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So should we vote two different motions then? Let's vote on the first one. Vote on. Okay, I would, draw, on. I would draw my amendment. Okay. okay. So we'll <laughs> vote on the first motion that Skip made. And that was to seconded. To pass the whole thing on. That was Jack seconded, seconded, seconded to pass the whole thing on. 
the original or the, the, the what, we recommended. The what, what we recommended what the one we recommended the committee recommended what we what we voted on what we voted on on September 5th yeah. right. any further discussion on that all in favor aye, aye. aye. all opposed abstain okay okay now I'd like to make a motion for so, yep. so it happens by the special town meeting, I don't know the exact language, mm -hmm. that the select board, I, mean, I guess that we as a committee ask the select board for the special town meeting to make sure that they put in language 1016C and eliminate, eliminate the requirement for that... Newspaper. that Newspaper, 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 newspaper publishing requirements. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Carolyn, you seconded. Yes. All right. Any further discussion? No. Okay. Voting on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Mm -hmm. Abstain? I abstain. Who, wait a minute. Who was the second? Me. Carolyn. Me. Carolyn seconded. And there is four. Four. That means we're done with zero <laughs> and one abstain. Yeah, that's Wait, it. We're done. We're done. We're done. I abstain. <laughs> oh, you abstain. Okay, yeah. so four. Oh, thank you. Better make a motion. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Denise, board? thanks you for what you said last night about the lighting oh, requirement. Oh, I'm going to say it again the next two meetings. Okay, but she appreciates it. So I was adjourn. watching on television. I let her know. Oh, yes, do yeah, we have a motion to very adjourn? Nice. Thank you. Motion. Second. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Aye.